Hello, I'm the first presenter in Sochi. This time I will talk about the Curora. The Curora was released in May 2023. It discussed efficient the fine tuning techniques. First, let's talk about motivation. As you know, large scale language models are in spotlight now, so number of parameters are increased to improve model performance. I think you probably most familiar with GPT model among LMMs. To explain with this GPT, as can be seen from table, as the parameter of GPT model increase, the time and cost required for training increase exponentially. So even if these large models are available, it is not easy to fine tune and modify them due to the significant resource required. The Curora paper addresses these issues by enabling fine-tuning with more appropriate resources. Next, let's talk about the three main contributions of this paper. First, they introduce a new architecture called Curova. It is a combination of 4-bit quantization and Bora. Next, they significantly reduce the memory footprint. They showed that it is possible to fine-tune Bryson folder even on a single GP. Lastly, they checked the effectiveness of Curora by fine-tuning over a thousand of them. Okay, then let's move on to overview. In figure 1 in Curora paper, is a good overview of for fine-tuning Curora and Curora. First, in fine-tuning all parameters of the pre-trained this model are fine-tuned to find the op most optimal parameters. Because of this, as the number of the parameters increase, the time required for fine-tuning also increases. In case of row rather than fine-tuning all parameters, a small neural network called the uh, adapter is attached to the pre-trained LLM and fine-tuned through this. Since Fine-tuning is done through an adapter rather than all parameters, the time required is significantly reduced. Lastly, Curova. Curova differs from LoRa by using 4-bit transformers instead of 16-bit transformers. The reason it can be compressed to 4-bit is due to a new data type introduced in this paper. Essentially, Curova uses 4-bit transformers uh, and Dequantize to 16 bits when necessary. Additionally, Curora uses a page of MyGear to utilize memory more efficiently. It manages model parameters in pages, storing less frequently used parameters in CPU memory and transferring them to GPU memory only when needed. Let's move on to background. Since Curora is combination of quantization and flora. I would like to explain the two in more detail in background. First, I will introduce about quantization. K-bit quantization is a method of expressing model parameter in K-bits, so to reduce model memory and increase computational efficiency. This reduced memory uses and increased computational efficiency by representing parameters as an uh, integer rather than the floating points. The smaller k is the greater the memory saving, uh, but for the expressivity and the performance may decrease. Okay, let's move on to Aurora. As mentioned earlier, Aurora does not fully fine-tune LLM. Here is the weight of the LLM and run the NN linear types A and B. We then add the output of B, choosing among the query key value and the subvertation of the transformer layer. As you might expect, uh, running this small layer is much simpler than learning an LLM. Curora 4-bit quantization is performed using quantile quantization, which estimate the quantile of the empirical distribution function. This new data type is called 4-bit normal float. It addressed the shortcoming of traditional SRM quantile quantization, which is highly lengthened by normalizing the fixed probability distribution 0, uh, sigma of 
model parameter w to minus one to one. So we estimate the uh, two to the k value qi of the data type as shown in the top equation. Here, qx is the quantile function of the standard normal distribution. The detailed method is as follows. The following methods are additional technique to further improve memory efficiency rather than being the main method. The first technique involved using double quantization, where the quantization constant compressed with 4-bit normal float quantization are quantized again to 8-bit. The second technique refers NVIDIA unified memory. By using this, even if the GPU run out of memory, it automatically transfers page to the CPU RAM without error between the CPU and GPU. This ensures that when GPU memory is insufficient, it moves to CPU RAM automatically and page back to the GPU memory only when necessary, thus utilizing memory more efficiently. The first results show that the glue and supernatural instruction benchmark results for the lower time T5 models using different data types. As seen in the table, it is possible to nearly recover the performance of the baseline 16 bit fully functioning in both benchmark. The paper suggests that this results indicate adapter fine tuning after quantization can almost completely recover the quantization loss. The following results show the wide shot MMLU accuracy of LoRa adapted RAMA uh, across different data types. For model exceeding 33 billion parameters, fine tuning was not possible due to resource limitations. So they compared the performance using LoRa adapted RAMA from the start. As seen in the table, the combination of NF4 and the quantization nearly matched the performance of BF16, while PF4 shows an average performance drop of about 1% compared to BF16. Since QoRa is expected to be widely used in applications such as chatbot, this study aimed to breathe in NFP capability by fine-tuning on the OASST1 dataset and evaluating on the MMLU dataset. Guanaco is a model trained with QoRa, while it does not perform expectationally well at the 7 billion parameter scale. It ranks third in performance at the 65 billion parameters scale following Plan V2 and Aquaca. Despite demonstrating a good performance, the key point of this paper is that QoRa requires significantly fewer resources compared to the leading models. Previous results were for five such scenarios. Now, these are the results for zero shot scenarios. As shown in the table, in most cases, the Guanaco model proposed in this paper demonstrate the best performance. Even in the 13 billion model, where well, Vicuna shows the best performance, Guanaco used only 10 gigabytes of memory compared to the Vicuna's 26 gigabytes, highlighting significant resource savings. Finally, to summarize the result, QoRa reduced memory uses of LMM while maintaining high performance, enabling their use in resource limited environment. Combining LoRa and quantization, QoRa store and compute parameter effectively, showing no significant performance drop compared to the traditional model. QoRa can be applied to various NFP tasks allowing uh, rapid model adaptation to specific domain or task, enhancing flexibility. If you want to learn about more in QoRa code, you can check the release QoRa code through the link above. And the model description and the setup are well explained as follows. 
this is the end of my presentation. Thank you. Hi, I'm Hyun Chol Bae, and I introduced three of those to elaborate problem solving with large language model. Over the past few years, such as PROM and GPT models, the performance of large language models has grown significantly and applied to various fields. But they still use an autoregressive mechanism for text generating and use token level decision one by one. In this paper, they ask, is that mechanism really sufficient for LM? If not, is there any alternative mechanism? In human cognition study, they suggest there are two different modes when human engage with decision. One is a fast, automatic, and unconscious mode, and the authors say this resembles to existing large language model. The other one is a slow, derivative, and conscious mode, and this is what the author wants to present. This processing has two main properties. For decision, human maintains and explores diverse thoughts, and for every thought, they evaluate each of them to look at or backtrack for the related thoughts. Also, they use a tree structure which is similar to problem space when humans decide. So, TOT makes the derivative decision with many thoughts. Also, evaluating the state with LM is a novel approach for search, and this makes the model work flexibly and sample efficient. Finally, they apply their model to three challenging tasks and show the superior performance among the SOTA. This is an overview of the TOT framework. As mentioned, they use various thought to make derivative decisions and they use a tree structure for problem solving. This process focuses on four questions, how to decompose the intermediate process, how to generate the potential thought, how to heuristically evaluate the state, and what search algorithm to use. Decomposition input make the model generate various thoughts, leading to more derivative process. Generating potential doubt depends on the property of doubt space, and they use two different types of prompts. Evaluating state is the most important part of this paper. From this step, they move to reasonable doubt such as backtracking and look ahead, looking ahead with the less step search algorithms. Before the TOT, there exists an approach that used RM for problem solving. Chain of thoughts generate the sequential thoughts which are bridge input and output. Each thought is generated by sampling, but there is a limitation that the decomposition of thoughts is ambiguous. Self-consistency with COT is an advanced COT model, and they use ensemble approach with thoughts. The output is major thoughts and it solves ambiguous problem, but they can only be applied to limited space. So let's introduce about the mass of TOT. At first, the compose of the input depending on the problem properties. One example is the game of 24, which decomposes input into the equations. Those thoughts need to be small enough to generate promising and diverse samples and need to be big enough to LM evaluate those for problem solving. At the thought generator, they generate K thoughts with two strategies. For the problem that require rich thought space, they generate those by sampling with COT. If the thought space is constrained, such as the calculation result or the word component is decided, they generate thought with proposed prompt. The state evaluator is the novelty of this paper. The main difference from existing work is how to utilize heuristics. Previous works such as Deep Blue or AlphaGo utilize heuristics as programmed or learned. TOT utilizes the heuristic with RM and this makes the model more flexible and more sample efficiency. They suggest two types of evaluators. 
valuing each state independently, and voting across states. Valuing evaluator states with a scholar or classification value. For game of 24, they evaluate each thought as sure, likely, or impossible. The classification gives information on whether to keep these thoughts or not. Voting selects the most promising thoughts across the several states. For creative writing, they vote for one of the thoughts and select the most promising one. In this paper, they do not deeply treat the search algorithms. They apply two simple search algorithms, VFS and DFS, and depending on the algorithm, they use pruning, backtracking, and so on. For future directions, they make a model plug and play for search algorithms, so they will apply advanced algorithms such as ASTAR or MCTS to explore more developed manner. They apply their work to three different tasks. Game of 24 is mathematically reasoning challenging, creative writing needs creative thinking and high-level planning, and lastly, mini crossword is a hard search problem involving natural language. The figure and table show that TOT shows superior performance regardless of the type of challenging task. This plot is the error analysis of Game of 24. Each number on the x-axis means steps and y-axis means the probability of failure. Different from COT, TOT shows almost success in the first step. The shows, this shows using various stops and dynamic searching with backtracking and look ahead making model find solution in correct way. Let's summarize the TOT. TOT aims to generate derivative search processing using existing RM and it shows the best performance for several tasks. For now, they use the two simple search algorithms, but in the future, they plan to apply various advanced algorithms and expect to enhance the framework performance. Also for now, they use the up the shared LM, so if they fine-tuning LM to TOT, might enhance framework performance.